Welcome to the island of Sturk. Representatives from all three alliances are gathering at the meeting place. It's just up ahead, through the ruins. I'm told they'll be arriving at the meeting site by portal any moment. After all the bloodshed in Cyrodiil, I fear the leaders won't be quick to trust one another. Perhaps you can help them see the wisdom in cooperation. I don't envy you the task. We've already assembled quite a team of experts for the Cold Harbor invasion itself. I'll try to introduce you to some of them on the way to the meeting. Lead on! Two kings and a queen with barely a thimble of patience between them. Reaching a compromise will be no small task, I promise you. Third. Look! It's Lady Laurent! Careful with that, you clumsy fool. Do hurry it up. We're missing everything. I never weary of your charms, Lady Laurent. That is Galarian as I live and breathe. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I had no idea the summit was to be held on the legendary island of Sturk. It seemed a fitting choice. It was here that the leaders of the First Era assembled the All Flags Navy to do battle with the Slode. I can't wait to see what surprises Molag Ball's realm has in store for us. We are waging war, not embarking on a sightseeing expedition, milady. Fear not, Vanus. I can take care of myself and my useless lump of a manservant. Stibbins, haven't you finished tying those bags yet? Oh, you really are hopeless. Farewell, milady. We must dash. We're expected at the summit. Wonderful. It's Tellinger. Here's Tellinger, the artificer himself. Must it always take a crisis to pull you away from your toys, Telly? Vanus, your robes smell of failed experiments and your words of failed wit. Tell me, Telly, what Dwemer rubbish pit did you crawl out of this week? You really must learn to respect your betters, old friend. Do let me know when one happens by, won't you? I don't have the time or the energy, Tellinger, so I'll bid you good day. The captain in charge of security, Alfari, is over there. Hi, King Emmerich of the Daggerfall Covenant. Queen Iran of the Old Merry Dominion. Joran Skald King of the Evanheart Pact. We must put aside our differences and work together, or this assault is doomed from the start. How do we know this isn't a ruse? A clever plan to divert our forces while your armies take the Imperial City. I thought backstabbing was your favorite tactic, Emmerich. Please, are you both so arrogant? Your weapons are children's toys compared to the horrors that Molag Baal commands. I will not wager the future of my people on the word of a snow barbarian and an adolescent female. I fear for Tamriel's future if either of you were to sit upon the ruby throne. Since when do you care about your people? You never lift a finger except to count your gold. Please, my lords, this bickering is pointless! What a waste of time! Obstinate fools, both of you. What a mess. Apologies, Venus, but I'm going to check on my lion guard. Intractable fools. Their pride will see us all dead. We've served as the first line of defense against Molag Bal's invaders, destroying his dark anchors all across Tamriel. They've succeeded in reducing their ranks and leveling half of Cyrodiil. What do you think? Willing and able. But, like the Mages' Guild, we are constrained by a non-interference pact. The Alliances will only tolerate our presence in their realms if we remain neutral. Unless all three Alliance leaders consent to it, our hands are bound. This is going about as well as I expected, unfortunately. 
Even if we can get them to stop bickering, they'll never agree to send troops to Cold Harbor. That would leave Cyrodiil unprotected. An interesting idea, but they need to stop bickering long enough to consider it. Why don't you visit each of them in their camps? See if you can reason with them individually. I tried, but these thick-skulled bastards will not see reason. But what about the war in Cyrodiil? If I commit troops to this invasion, the pact will be vastly outnumbered there. <laughs> Wizards and mercenaries against the Daedric hordes. Without the Ebonheart Pact, they do not stand a chance. <laughs> you make some sense after all. I will support this foolish plan if you can convince the other leaders. Your Skald King has all the patience of a bullet mating season. This is a negotiating table, not a battlefield. Can't you talk some sense into that thick head of his? That's more than I'm getting from them. What do you suggest? I don't doubt their commitment or their bravery, but they are few. And Molag Baal's followers are legion. I'm not convinced, but let me think on it. Something must be done. On that we agree. Euron is being stubborn out of spite. He's your king. Can't you reason with him? Is there? What did you have in mind? Hmm. Perhaps, but we don't know enough about Cold Harbor to fully understand what they'd be up against. Nor do I, but I'll agree to nothing until I've conferred with my advisors. Now go annoy the others, I've had enough for one day. Any luck, or are they still at an impasse? I hope they come to their senses soon. We're going to lose the element of surprise. With very good reason. But the sooner they come to an agreement that... Does the air feel strange to you? That's odd. All of a sudden it feels like a storm is approaching. I have an ill feeling about this. He... He has arrived. I can't. Caldian! What's happening? Go! Get away from me! Run! These are the great leaders of Tamriel. Pathetic. <laughs> but how convenient to have them gathered together in ah! one place, so I can crush them Stop like on, insects. Stay back, Countess! The insects fight back! How amusing! And yet, so very sad. All of Nern shall be mine. Keldian! Protect the leader. Defeat Molagbar's minions. Let's close the unstable.
thought we were safe here, hidden from the enemy. The god of schemes grows more powerful by the day. Agreed. There's no time to waste. We must take the fight to him. Yes, at the alien well at the center of the island. After that terrible display of power, I don't think they have much choice. Honored leaders, you have seen the face of our enemy! Molag Ball threatens every living being in Tamriel. The Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild have agreed to join forces to launch an assault on Cold Harbor! Trust in us. Sanction our actions. Give us your blessings. We will not let you down. Vanos is right. The guilds are our best and only choice. Send them to Cold Harbor. I hate to admit it, but I agree with Emmerich. As do I. It appears that much of the distrust between our alliances was sown and nurtured by the God of Schemes. Molag Bal thrives on deception and chaos. But if you'll forgive me, this alliance war is of your own making. Countess Akruba, gather the surviving members of both guilds in the Sturk interior. The Champion and I will go there now to open the portal. We'll be right behind you, Vanus. The time has come, Champion. Let's go! Our protect us all. We're as ready as we shall ever be. Unfortunately, yes. It's not the massive army we'd hoped for. But now that Molag Ball knows we're coming, a smaller group might be our only hope of slipping into Cold Harbor undetected. It's difficult to predict where you will emerge once you reach Cold Harbor. Be on your guard, my friend. They arrived in Cold Harbor, but in entirely different locations. Bloody unpredictable portals to oblivion, not to mention Molog Ball's defenses. Nasty beasties abound. Off you go, over the bridge and head inland. There's a good chap. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. I was afraid you'd stuffed it. What bridge? Is there a bridge? Tricky things, bridges. Tend to have all kinds of hideous creatures living beneath them. Except that one over there. That one leads to the Hollow City. Dreadfully dull place, and a real eyesore, if you ask me. But I suppose it's where you want to start your quest. Quest! What a simply fabulous word. Quest. Quest. Quest! I just love how it rolls off the tongue. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. 